Right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Rafa Kodash. To all honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. Shalom, meaning peace. May that be unto the elect. Now, I'm aware you brothers have got some scriptures you'd like yeah. to go into to start with, so let us start. So I really want to read, brother. You can read. This is Isaiah, uh, chapter 28, and we'll start at verse 14. Wherefore, hear the word of Yahweh, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem, because ye have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. And that's our people who have made that agreement with ultimately, you know, the man of sin. Okay, because sin, sin, uh, sin is the wages of death, okay? Wages of sin and death. Yeah. So, sorry, my fault, my fault, brother. The wages of sin and death, I'm sorry. And so, you know, the, their covenant with, with E, what is it going to result to? It's going to result to death because all he's going to do is get you to sin and do more wickedness and trusting in him and trusting in his devices is a form of wickedness, man. Okay? Now it reads. Okay, I got a scripture real quick. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk, down to, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, and modern Egypt is what? You know, Revelation 11 and 8 will tell you this, this city, Babylon, you know, this wicked kingdom, is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. And this is Psalm 91 and 1 because it goes into them, them being in that shadow. And this is the contrary on the right hand side. This is Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So that's the shadow that we, we look to be under, man. That's the real shade that we're trying to be under to, to, to be quenched from all the heat. Okay? But these other people, they're going to look for E. All right? Our people in the world, they're going to look to E, so even, man. Okay? They're going to look up to him and say, you know, can you please help me? Uh, you know, they're going to go on food. Where are going to go to? They're going to go to E. They're going to take the, they're going to take the MOTB. Okay? You know, and the proverbial shadow and covering will end you up if you're doing it right. You know, and really, if you want to be elect, selected before the foundation of the earth, you are. then you'll get actual, you know, coverings, if you like. Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, cometh out of this place, so like it cometh, cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Yeah, that's going into the chariots. Yeah, the, the doors being covered. You've got a lot of a lot of sorry. No, no, no. You got a lot of um, military personnel and such. They've started say disclosing. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, they do exist. We don't really know what they are, but they, they have capabilities to f with yeah, American weapons and uh, Russian weapons, yeah, which ultimately the Lord is going to put the spirit on them, both those nations, to, to go at it. Man. Yeah. It, even when they, even, like, I believe the scripture goes, even if they had fear in their hearts, they're still going to have the spirit yeah, to go against fight. them. Is that second Ezra 13? Uh, it might, yeah, yeah, that is, is going to be that. Yeah, they were very scared, but durst fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're going to they're going to be shitting themselves, man. And really, if it was up to them and they didn't have, yeah, which again, that's a, that's a hypothetical analogy. It doesn't exist. The Lord has His hand in everything. Right, right. Yeah, but if it was up to them, yeah, they, if you're in a, in a, in fear, you know, they say fight or flight. But it's the Lord that put the spirit on them to fight. Just, uh, just keep looking for it. It's a just fight. There it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Look at second Edges chapter 13. Seven. And verse 7. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven. And what's the hill talking about? I believe when you go into it contextually, it's talking about the chariot. You know, Ezra thought you saw a mountain, but then he was like, well, where's the mountain? And I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. So all the all them so it's gonna World War Three is gonna pop off and in the midst of it, and Yahusha is gonna come back and they're going, Oh shit. You know, I, who was it? Um I think we went through this on a call one time, uh, Ronald Reagan I believe it was, and he said um if there was a threat of a alien invasion, you know, that's the only thing that would unite humanity. Well, you know, alien means foreign. So an Israelite is a, is a foreigner to an Edomite. An Israelite is an alien to E. Right? So then what alien invasion are you going to have? With all, all of those films they show, the chariots in the sky, man. The, the foreign invasion is going to be from the heavens, man. Right, that's foreign. It's foreign to them. Things of heavenly are foreign to those that are, that are earthly anyway. 
And of course, we're talking Even about the Jake. Yeah, no worries, no. Because yo, Jake is his father is who, man? His father yeah. is is a damn devil, man. So he, he's just going to be all foreign to him, just like it says, you know, something they never look for. Yeah, with the Rafa Kafka, with the Solar Five One. Here's one: if the true, the true way is foreign to them, what does that make them? Foreigners, Israelite strangers, Perfect. Gentiles, heathen. The heathen from Galatians three, Hebrew yep. E. And Psalm 53 minus 2. And even second Ezra is like, what do you see? He called, what, as you say, you know, in the scriptures it says that well, you heathen, he was calling them heathen because they were going after the ways of the heathen, man. It's not that hard to understand, but of course, just like the brother said, you know, it, it's all the Lord's doing. Uh, the Lord gives you over to whatever he wants to give you over to. We, you know, we didn't, we didn't, like, the, 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 crazy enough, you might, you know, we didn't choose to be in this, okay? The Lord has actually delivered us from the world to be in this, all right? If it, so we can't be prideful of shit, man. This was a gift, man. Faith was a gift. Yeah, to have this yeah, truth was bestowed. It was a best, it was bestowed upon us. We didn't. We're not just these cool individuals that just happened to get it right. You know, everyone should you know kiss our ass about it. No way. Why you look for some? This is back to Isaiah 28, 15. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell. Are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall, shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. So in other words, our people think that, that when, when, when all hell breaks loose, they're going to be okay because of their agreement with, with the damn devil, man. I would eat, well, when, all, when all hell breaks loose, they're going to they're gonna actually, that's like it says, you know, make lies their refuge. Things that are, that are false, they're going to use that to have protection, okay? And it's not, it's, it, even, if, even if the Lord, uh, the, the Lord wills it for a period of time where they can be preserved, in some form of safety, it's all going to lead to what? Just more destruction, man. Okay. Well, just said peace and safety. So some destruction shall come. Now look, man. You say it when you, when you made a covenant with death and hell. Well, Hebrew E teaches what that you'll end up, you'll go to hell. You know. And he was saying, all right, all right, then you choose hell. That's free will doctrine. Let's read this. John chapter six, verse forty-four. No man can come to me except the Father, which has sent me. Draw him. There you go. So. The Lord chose us to not choose to, to not choose death, man. So no matter what, which way we look at it, how can we how, how can you have that spirit of pride in you, man? Because ultimately, if it wasn't for the Lord's power, we would have no power. We would have a spirit of power. Right now, we don't look seem like we have any power, especially because we are, of course, going going through the period of time where we're low and we've got, we have to we have to, we have to taste the bread of affliction, as the scripture said. But nevertheless, man, you know the spirit of power, okay, is going to prevail continuously until the day when. The Israelites, all right, are gonna have power, man. But guess what? The Israelites Literally power, physically on earth. But the Israelites do have power, man. Spiritual because, power. Man. Because to understand this book, yeah, and we're not just talking about us. You know, you, guess what? Hebrew E has power. Psalm fifty-one has power. Yeah. Um. What do, what do you call him? Nathaniel Alagar has power. Yeah. Bishop Nathaniel has power. All these guys to tell you and break down Deuteronomy 20, 28, you know, the milk that we are the Israelites. That's spiritual power, man. Right, that's a Because these because these people are these people are through. They don't imagine that. You know, so far beyond what they look for, man. So really, you know, all these Israelite camps have power, man. Although not not everyone can see it, you know. It's like now now we're in our clock, Ken. Yeah, but watch when we turn Superman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish that verse. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. You are. And when we and we were chosen, you know, from the foundation of the world to accept this. The Lord already knew his people, right? If the Lord has all power, all knowledge, and, and you know, everything pertaining to just overall might, how can we do something how can we do something against him? Man? We're not gonna, you know, juke the most high and do something that he didn't already know. We're not gonna like pretend we're going in the steps and we're not, okay? This is, you know, we're not weak. <laughs> you might think you're slick, but you're really not, man. <laughs> you're not as slick as you think you is, man. Beautiful lesson by Elder Apostle Ariel. Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Wow, so both, both, and that's that's not just Jeremiah, okay? Oh, can you actually finish the verse, sorry? And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And that's on the right hand side, okay? The, the, the men of the right hand side, I should say. Okay, uh, well, yeah, on the right hand side because the Lord controls both, so you can say it like that. Ultimately, you know, it was already chosen from the beginning who was going to be the wicked and was going to be the righteous, man. Yep, okay, they're just playing their sorry. part. No, so that's all, that's all, but uh, Romans 9, you know, we went into it last week. It talks about how before there was any good or evil done, you know, E was set up, Jake was set up, yeah, and then he made the analogy of E being uh, the vessel of destruction and dishonor to Pharaoh. 
Yeah, so what does that tell you? Even in the book, he is the new Pharaoh. Yeah, we, we see it because you know he's the, he's the ruler, but the book verbatim compares E to Pharaoh. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against many kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Wow, so not, not always happy thoughts, man. Unfortunately, the reality is that we have to go through a time right, right now. And there's, there's, there's people out there that are wicked, man. Okay, it's not, it, for the whole Christianity line of reasoning about everything should just be happy and loving and everyone just has to get along. That's not what the scripture says, man. It's called a false balance. That's right. And what is that? It's called simply falsehood in general, man. And it is, it's an abomination. It's when you think of disgust. You're supposed to look at these people who teach that and look at them as fucking disgusting, man. Abominable people. Is it Sa'iba? I'm not sure. Slap it. Do you know? Nah. This is uh, Exodus 15 and 3. Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Okay. Or um, Yahweh Ayash Melachma Yahweh Shamwa. Okay. So ultimately, you know, the Lord wanted all these things to happen to declare his wrath, okay? Declare his wrath on these wicked people that he made, okay? He made them to go after wicked ways, okay? He knew they were going to do it beforehand. He made sure that it happened because it's his power, his will. He wanted to do it so he could show his wrath, okay? Okay? And he's, he's, given, um, he's given a spirit of power to his prophets to be ready for that war, okay? And no, we, we do have that in the spirit. We're ready for that day. We, we, we're, we're hasting that day because we, we're sick of fucking being here, man. Okay. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10. Hold on. 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, starting at verse 2. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence, wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. And I'll get the one more in Ephesians 6 and 10. Sorry, 6 and, well, yeah, it's at 10. Ephesians 6 and 10 through 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So there is a warfare going on. Yeah, but it's not carnal. You're not going to win with guns, with knives, so on and so forth. What you're going to win with? The spirit. All right? And the one that's going to avenge. No, it will be the angels in Yahweh Shai, man. Right. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to himself, according, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. according to the good pleasure of his will, and that adoption is going what? It's going back to the graphing in. You know, the adoption, calling back to the adoption of sons. Yeah. Let me get that. I've gone right to Zah times a million, man. We're part of that adoption, man. Because ultimately, it's all the Lord's will, man. So we have to wait until that day. We have to endure to the end. The same shall be saved. All right, Romans 9, verse 3 through 5. If I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High, and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came, who is overall Most High blessed forever. So the adoption of sons, that's a graphing back. You know, I think it also talks about in the 8th chapter. This is Romans 8 and verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And so the spirit of adoption is coming back. And these Romans are Israelites, man. The Romans are Israelites. The Galatians are Israelites. The Colossians are Israelites. 
Who else? The Ephesians are Israelites. The Co Corinthians. I have I said that? The Corinthians uh, yeah. are Israelites. Yeah, um, 1 Corinthians 10 verses 1 through uh, 4, please. But the first Corinthians chapter 10 uh, verse 1 Moreover brethren I would not that ye should be ignorant Now let's stop there Brethren Who are his brethren? His kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites Yeah so you can break it down on all levels man How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea And what, if you have the same father you know your fathers come from the same place what does that mean? You're the same people and we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Right, so you're going to have to tell me that these Corinthians just happened to descend from you know, the mixed multitude, you know, and they, they cannot trace their lineage back. And it's like, oh man, what a coincidence. You know, friends, you seeing you guys here. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Hamashia. Right, so he just told you that they ate, you know, and drank of the rock that was Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Now in 1 Corinthians 5 and 7, it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, that you may be a new lump as you are unleavened, for even Hamashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Now let's let's see who can keep the Passover, or rather who can't keep the Passover. <clears throat> Exodus 12 and 43. And Yahweh was telling to Moses and Aaron, this is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof. So, you, so no non-Israelite is allowed to eat of the Passover. Now this just told you that in the past, you know, our fathers drank the spiritual bread and meat. Yeah, that, that was Yahweh Shai. That was Yahweh Shai. So what does that mean? They ate of the Passover, yeah, spiritually. So they can't, they can't be heathen. You know, again, on any level you try and go to it, there's, there's, there's different avenues we can take it. And guess what? Set, every single one comes back to the same point. Yeah, it's a, it's a living. Document. No. Anything that goes against it, therefore, is a lie. And so, any form of even if the people who claim to believe in the Bible, but they they, they have that falsehood, they're making lies a refuge, man. This is Jeremiah. Of, sorry. Go ahead. You want to go first? Yep. This is the book of First John, chapter two, and verse twenty-one. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Jeremiah 16 and 19. O oh, Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. You know, that's that's going to be a time when everyone starts to realize the truth, man. And that 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 day shall be glorious for the elect, but for the rest it shall be, you know, great shame. Because there's many people who believe, you know, their doctrines are correct going into whether it's the biblical one claiming to be biblical, it's obviously not, but you know, they they, they, they they claim the foundation of their belief is the Bible, or some believe in Islam, or some believe in, in, in fucking Buddha or whatever, okay? We're going to have great shame, like, oh fuck, that was all bullshit, man, we dedicate our lives to fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's really funny, but you know, for them it's not going to be funny, but it's hilarious, really. Back to Isaiah 28. And uh, verse 16, therefore, thus saith, oh, I'll start at 15 then, one more time. Because you have said we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we in agreement, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through thee, right? Because you know, there's going to be time when they're going to be scourges brow here for men, but they're not going to change their ways because it's not the Lord's will for them to, to turn around. I'll get this real quick. Sure. This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Yeah, and that's E. That's the, that's the way that our people are following, man. That's why they're staggering. Yeah, but they've not drunk anything. What have they drunk? They've drunk of the wine of Babylon. They've not physically drunk anything. Mm. Isaiah 28, I, I, I'm 15 towards the end. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through thee, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Give me a piece of that. Just going to go, into, go, yeah, go into the chief, that chief cornerstone being Yahweh Shai, man. 
Exactly. Yahweh yeah. Shai indeed is our foundation, man. And you know, that's that's who Yahweh set up for to be a mediator for us to go to the Father, because we need him to go to the Father. And without Yahweh Shai, we have not the Father, man. Peter chapter 3, uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 3. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable by the Most High, by Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's why the people of the world are confounded. They're going to be found very confused and condemned in that day. Yeah. Making haste, you know, um, what's the scripture? Make not haste in time of trouble. Oh, so, yeah. It's time of the second chapter. Yeah, because one because one there says not be confounded, the other says make haste. So if you're confounded, yeah, your idol didn't work, you know, your whatever your money you were trying to go didn't work. Not only are you confounded, now you're making haste, looking for the next shit. You know, what's gonna save you in that day? It's not gonna be riches, so on and so forth. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Now you get you were given this body by the Lord. It's reasonable that you use it to serve Him. Right. Now this is uh, Sarah two and two. Set thy heart right and constantly enjoy and make no haste in time of trouble. Right, but you can't do that if you've not got a foundation. You know, and as Apostle Paul said, no other foundation can can any man lay than that which is laid, which is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. He says, <laughs> yep. Peter chapter two, verse twenty, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles. And prophets, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach himself, being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building, fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also build together for inhabitation of the Most High through the Spirit. And that whole chapter is heavy going into the Gentiles, you know, the circumcision, the uncircumcision. You now, because in the time of the, the uh, Greek Empire, you know, under Antiochus Epiphanes, yeah, he was going into which I believe think, think means um, like a, 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 a no, I can't remember what it means. Forget that, you know. But it's, it goes into the circumcision, the uncircumcision, because he was forbidding you know, certain, the Israelites to to uh, commit circumcision on their children. You know, not commit. That sounds like a fucking crime. In their eyes, it was, you know, because that that was our custom. They didn't want us to keep our custom. They wanted to follow their ways. First John chapter 2 verse 15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Right. It's all things where one's affections are in the earthly realm. And all, all they consider, all right, is, is the things that, that, that they boast of, all right, in their life in this world, okay? Like the, pride, the pride of life pertains to what? You know, they're boastful of the life they live, the, the wealth they've acquired, the status that they have um, uh, obtained. But all of that shit means nothing, man. All that stuff is going to be put to bed sooner or later, man. And all these people that are just walking la da don't even, don't, would never even think <laughs> that his kingdom is going to go down. When it happens, man, fuck, bro. How are they gonna? How are they gonna? How are they gonna be okay? They're really not. They're the gonna be going fucking crazy, man. Right, Ecclesiastes one. Just like it says, you know, in Matthew seven, man. If you ain't got if the foundation is of sand, when the wind blew and whatnot, when 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 it started getting a bit rough with them, ultimately all it did was destroy the place. Because what can it do? All it can do is destroy the place. There's no foundation there, man. All right, it doesn't matter how pretty you make the rest of it. The foundation is crap. 
all that pretty shit's gonna fall down, man. It reminds me of what uh, Yahweh Shai said at the Pharisees, man. Yeah, they made white that the uh, outside of it, yeah, but inwardly it was through. Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 12 on down through 18. I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail had the Most High given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I communed with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of knowledge, sorry, of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly, I perceive that this is also, also is vexation of spirit. Right. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Right. So the more we have knowledge of this truth, the more sorrow we have that we have to be in this world of, of wickedness, because we have more knowledge of this world being wicked. Because you know, in the world we could say that, you know, all three of us, I'm sure, we could have been all oh, shit same right, man, something fucked up, and we you know, obviously, my brother Mashama, so we, 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 were friends, we, were, we were friends and stuff, you know, uh, while we, before we came into the, the true doctrine and whatnot, so you know, we, we we didn't have these type of conversations. We know the world was fucked up, but we didn't have the full understanding. Once you get the full understanding, you even more grief and sorrow. But there's also some sweetness to it. But it's bitter. It's bitter in your stomach to know that before we have everlasting righteousness on the earth, we have to go through this. You know, this, this this fucking. We have to be on like it's 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 vexing to also know we're under uh, we're being ruled under someone who's so fucking. He's so base, man. He's such a. He just, he just, what's the, yeah, base man, just fucking, he's just, <laughs> Bro, fam. piece of shit, yeah. Man of sin. This is Revelation 10, verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly better, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Yeah. And I took up, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Right. As soon as he ate that, his belly was bitter, you know, to, to you know, when he was learning all, all the things pertaining to uh, the suffering he had to, we had to go through, all right, us having to fall away thereof, man, us falling away from our heritage, that's a bitter thing to accept, and imagine that time, they don't know when it was going to happen, so they were just, they were just living through it, and they were like, oh man, one day we're going to have to have falling away, it, it must have hurt, man, and probably not, Probably more so than uh, right now. Can I get this first real quick? What is the falling away speaking of? You know, it's falling from our heritage. What right time now. period? Um, well, what happened for us to fall away? Well, we just broke the law and then. So there's a specific event in time, though. Because the falling away is not just our heritage primarily, it's speaking of our land. But then the, as a result we lost our heritage and such. So when when was the key point in history we lost our land? Uh, or we pushed out of it? Around 70 AD, or 70 AD, that's what he's talking about. 70 AD, 66 to 72 AD. Uh, Ezekiel, chapter 1. Yeah, but I saw verse 7, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth, and eat that I give thee. And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was there. So, same thing, you know, he um, asked you to eat a book, okay, which, which means to believe, okay, and have understanding of this whole role, okay. So, digest it, right? Yep. And it says, um, when I, and, uh, yeah, again, and when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and he spread it before me, and, I, and it was written within and without, and there was within, oh, sorry, and, and uh, sorry, and there was written therein, lamentations and mourning and woe. So in that book was many uh, time, uh, many things pertaining to us being in the time of mourning, all right, and woe going to destruction, man. And lamentation and mourning goes the same thing, us having tears of sorrow, man. If we have to feel sorrow. All right, before we feel the time of rejoicing, man, and it's going to be so worth it. Just like the scripture says, man, in Romans uh, chapter eight, verse eighteen. It's for I reckon, for I reckon that the suffering, 
at this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Because Colossians, you, you can't even compare it, man. Right? So all this stuff right now is incomparable to the rejoicing. So ultimately, the, the Lord is merciful, man. The Lord is righteous. Okay? If you didn't already know, <laughs> you know as the scripture said, man, you, know, you, can't, you can't look at the Most High in any other way except righteous for all this judgment we have to, we have to go through right now. Even if you killed your whole family, you know, had, had, your, had your sister, you know, ravished, so on and so forth, yep. which is not going to feel amazing. Of course not. But well, what I want to say in the scriptures, Job, he said, though he slay me, Oh, I actually need to get that. Do you know what that is? Could you look it up real quick for me? Though so me, why you get that scripture, brother? Okay. It's Colossians chapter 3, it's, it's that are 1. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. If you want to speak on it. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the, on the earth. You know, because ultimately, you know, things on, you know, in this life, on this earth, it's all vanity, you know, it's not really worth, you know, obtaining because, you know, it will all pass away, you know, and, you know, if you set your, you know, your treasure up in heaven, you know, where no man can steal nor corrupt it, you know, where moth, where moth doesn't, you know, destroy it, you know, you've got your, you know, your spiritual mind in the right set, in it, sorry, your mind and, uh, you know, set in the right place. That's what your treasure will be. Exactly. Yeah. So the treasure of this life is the vanity which is worthless. So that that there's no worth in it. You can't you can't bring it to the to, to you can't use it to deliver you, man. Just like you know, it's, you know, when it goes into the, the Medes going against Babylon, they won't regard silver or gold. But how much more the most high you made silver and gold? Let's say Haggai two and eight. And how much more for you jinx that think you're rich have got FRNs? Yeah. FRN meaning what a Federal Reserve note. It's a fancified IOU now. And guess what? They're not going to pay it. Right? So all that shit is is paper. Your know, people's faith in it is what what uh, maintains it. It doesn't have any intrinsic value. It's not. Oh, this this president looks good. You know. Oh, that's worth one dollar of my money. You know, in, in uh, gold or whatever. It's not based on gold anymore, man. It's not backed by you know anything really. It's just you know real wealth is backed by you know silver, gold, those commodities. You know, Jake will do. Anything to try and obtain that. This is a talking about yeah, yeah, just, just, just on what you were saying, Haggai 2 and 8 yeah, proves that the, the gold and silver is of the Lord. Man. This is Job 13 and 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. So, though, you know, no matter what, man, um, you have to, we always have to. Uh, Trust in Yahweh Hashem Yashai through our process because we are going to go through a time of tribulation. We are going to go through hardship, man. It's not going to be a walk in the park. You know, there's, there's going to be times where it's going to suck, man. All right, but we're also looking to be delivered out of them. We're also looking to, to, to be at peace no matter what. It's uh, Proverbs 14 and verse 32. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. So, you know, no matter what, man, well, there's, there's that hope, man. Okay, but the wicked, what they're going to do is they're going to look for wicked devices to, to get them out of it because then they're going to commit because the Lord hasn't given them the spirit truth. He set them up for destruction, man. So when all hell breaks loose, what they're going to do? Trust in more fucking hell. All right, and then it's also going to cause more hell. And the it's a continuation of just fucking corruption is going to come upon their lives. They may be at peace right now, but you're going to see it, man. And it's going to, it's going to hit you quickly. They'll trust in the one that increaseth his desire, you know, and is as hell and is as death. The man of sin, wage of sin or death, he is he is his death. And everything around him, name one place he's gone, as we often say, you know, week in, week out. One place that he is this is our, our continuous challenge, you know. So our continuous challenge to the whole world shows one place he has gone and not made it worse, not brought death there. And he, won't fit. he is <laughs> he is the harbinger of death, man. Or harbinger <laughs> of death. Yep. You know of that planet of apes film. Yeah man, that's him. Yeah, and we are those proverbial apes, man. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Get me? So that, that whole film is about a changing in rulership. If we could get Daniel 2 starting at verse 31. Because that's what sets this, this um, apart, man. Uh, oh, where's that in Isaiah that talks about bring them if they're gods, you know, they'll know. Declare the thing that happened before. Oh, gosh, gosh. Um, 
Yeah, go, go, go. It's Isaiah 28, and verse 17. Judgment also will I lay to the lion in righteousness, the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the war shall overflow the hiding place. And your covenant with death shall be this annual. Right, because it's not gonna, it's, it's not gonna work out. So, oh, I'm sorry, but this, this is not okay. And you are no longer in lust. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it, because there's no foundation there, man. You know, you're not gonna escape the wrath of the most high. Right, the wicked are gonna taste that judgment, man. They're gonna drink up of that wrath, the overflowing cup of wrath, the overflowing scourge, man. Without mixture, without a chaser. Yep. And you're not gonna pour a little bit of sprite in it and if it's Tastes sweeter. They're getting the full of it, man. The full. And the bitter and the. <laughs> if there is any bitter. <laughs> yeah. So Isaiah chapter 41. Well, ultimately, so like, ultimately, there is. You know, the earth being set back, you know, the food not being defiled, yeah. so on and so forth. There is that. Yeah. But you know, that comes at a price for you, lot. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, fucking Yehuda and Sam, man. Because ultimately, the, those spirits, you know, that, that, that pain they're going to feel. That's how much that's how much mercy the most I had. He's gonna fuck Esau up, man. And then he's gonna have mercy on him because that pain is only temporary. And if they, if they have the if they believe in, in uh, the Lord and have the faith of Abraham, can they be saved those Edomites? Hell no. They're gonna they're gonna go they're gonna get destroyed, go out to the spirit world and be at rest. Not go to I believe it's Esau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well yeah. one of them does. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, we don't even fucking know that, you know. <laughs> how we make how, Brother, you're not helping us be able to rebuke you, man. Yeah, man. We don't even know what you believe, man. <laughs> you know, if one guy, okay, so you choose hell. Well, we just read in the scripture that the Lord chooses who, you know, hell is a pit. You know, who goes to hell is the grave. You know, and who, who maintains life upon this planet. But life right now is not life, man. Yeah, man. That's the whole point. That's the whole thing, you know. Eventually, that this pain we have, we have is temporary, even for the the, our, the wicked of our people. Because they're going to be, they're going to be regenerated into the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 23 show the things that are to come hereafter that we may know that ye are gods yea do good or do evil that we may be dismayed and behold it together one more time show the things that are to come hereafter that we may know that ye are gods let's start with verse 21 sorry. verse 21 produce your cause Saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. Right, so basically, you know, prove it. Prove it. Prove all things. Let them that let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things, what they may be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods. Right, so he's talking to idols, you know, show the, all right, go into the history, show the, the prophecy that you made, which is what we're about to do, you know, for this book, where you go and do it, you know, all your Commission, Venetian blinds brothers, the Kemet guys, they want to say, oh, this, you know, the, the, all you have is rituals, man. I can't remember who said that recently, but it's true. You know, all you have is rituals. You have prophecy, you don't have high holy days, you know, you, you have, you have little rituals that you do. You can't go into history and say, well, this is when um, Patar told us that, yeah, we're gonna get put in slavery, and then at the end of it, yeah, what happens after? You haven't got any of that. Yeah, so let's let's show what we've got. Is that the end of it? No, no, no. Yeah, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing, and you were of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. Yeah. 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 You idols, you know, you're, you're through. You ain't got anything. That's what you want. Daniel 2 and 41. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Daniel 2 and 31. Thou, uh, thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, his, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Right, pause it there. Right, who's the head of gold? Let's read it slowly, break it down bit by bit by bit. By bit. This is verse 32. This image's head was a fine gold. Okay, so the image. Are you familiar with this? He also links it with Daniel 7. It's Daniel, Daniel 2 and Daniel 7 are pretty much the same thing. 
So it's going it's going by orders of what it will give it in the kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. So the top so of gold. Yeah. Is that the first? No. Not in this, not in this. Because it, okay. it's Daniel, so that Daniel's after the time of oh, Egypt, yeah, yeah. at least in that generation. So where's where's he? Yeah, where was he in? Where was he under captivity first? Oh, well, you can, yeah, 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 yeah. Babylonian Assyria, Babylon Assyria, Assyria, Babylon. Yep. It says his angel's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver. So what came up for this? Yep. 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 His belly and his thighs of brass. Uh, There's a scripture that tells you exactly, you know, one king to go over after this king. Greece. Yeah. 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 It's going to say Mexico. Battle of Guacamole. <laughs> Verse 33. His legs of iron. Jeez, bro. That's what you do, right? Yeah, iron. Exactly. So the Rome, they, they, they were, know, they, yeah. that was the nation that started using iron the most, you know? And iron is, is it makes strong weapons. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Sword. 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 Essentially a, we a weapon, yeah. a cutting instrument. Right, and it's modern day sword is, is, is a gun. Or a nuke. Yep. And it reads, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron, and part of clay. Thou sawest to that, so that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet, that would have iron and clay and break them to pieces. Read it again. Because I feel like I need to read it again. Yeah, verse 34. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet, that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. It's not going back anywhere. It's Babylon is it? Where is it? Read it, read it again. Okay. Verse 33, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron, and part of clay. So this is this is the you know the end of this kingdom. How is the end coming of this kingdom? Yeah, there's well. How is the spiritual end of this king, kingdom coming? Verse 34 says, Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. So broke all the, these heathen rulerships. Uh, Babylon the Great is not coming back to break, I know, but yeah. down all these heathen rulerships. It's already moving already, but. Uh, it's not before, it's after. Yeah. What's, who's coming back to put down all heathen rulerships? Oh, yeah, how is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, it again, I'll read it again. I think, I think it's the way it's worded. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hand. So this, this should be very clear when it says, which smote the image upon his feet. So it smote that image, destroyed that image, which means it destroyed oh, yeah. those kingdoms, okay? And it says, upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. There, there was the iron, that's why then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broke into pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floor. And the wind carried them away, that no place is found for them, and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. So in other words, that, um, you know, eventually, those kingdoms shall never rule again. And in the kingdom of heaven, that true, that, that righteous mountain, exalted above all mountains, shall, shall be established, right? Where Yahweh Shai is going to rule over the, the rest of the Israelites, man. And not just the Israelites, all these nations. Man. That's right. And specifically, that's the that's the, the uh, governing body. Right. You know, from there, then the orders set out. Just as in the Genesis one and one, how the Most High did with the Alahayim, man. Yep. But this is Daniel seven and twelve. As concerning the rest of the beasts, beasts, they had their. Dim Wait, let me start up here. I'll start there. As concerning the rest of the beasts, you know, the rest of the nations, or kingdoms. They had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. Why is that? Because they're going to go into captivity under Israel. It says, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, which is going into the chariots, and came to the Ancient of Days, the Heavenly Father, and they brought him, brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, 
nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that shall that which shall not be destroyed. As there is, you know, the kingdom is going to last forever, even forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Right. As it says here, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So there you got it, man. Verse 36. This is the dream. We will tell uh, the interpretation thereof before the king. All right. Thou, O king, art king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And that was referring to uh, Babylon the Great, man. Sorry, I'm sorry, brother. That's referring to Babylon, the ancient Babylon. I'm sorry. That's referring to ancient Babylon. I made a mistake there. Tip of your tongue. All right, so, you know, again, just like brother was saying, it's the time of Daniel now. Now we, we live in a time where Babylon the Great, spiritual Babylon, which is America, is ruling over the earth right now. And you can see it's crumbling, man. You can see it's that time when they're going to get destroyed. Okay? I'm going to go through a. Uh, Job 20. Daniel chapter 4, verse 25. That they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven, and seven times shall pass over thee, till thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will. Yeah, so he gave it to, to the Babylonians and the Medes. Yeah, first, like the Buddha said, Egypt. Yeah, but Daniel, Daniel yeah, came after Egypt in that generation. So there wasn't a prophecy about that. But, you know, you had Egypt, you had Assyria, Babylon, you had the Medo-Persians, you had the Greeks, you had the Romans, you had Babylon the Great. And guess what's after that? The Israelites. Yeah, and we, we've had, we had a, a little taster of that, man. A little taste from the certain kings that the ruled in righteousness, but then, you know, it was it was set up that we would, well, fall, you know, before 70 AD is and fall from you know, heritage and such. But the true falling away is us from our land, and from there we haven't been back, man. Not in mass. You know, we've been back here in there, Demona, Israel. Which you know, why is World Cup never going for them African Hebrew Israelites, man? Because they don't have the truth. You know, they're not teaching the doctrine. They're teaching some next shit. This is Job chapter 20 and of verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? You know what's funny about that? He yeah, said, E will be loosed a little season. So this is his time for rejoicing. You know, but he will ultimately be thrown down now. Verse 5. Sorry, verse uh, 6. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, you know that excellency goes again to his pride. You know, though he he he, he, he uh, raises up his um, his kingdom, though he, he boasts himself high, you know, he even has his his, his you know he has his space stations, whatever, and of course even things like that, so called skyscrapers, <laughs> skyscrapers. <laughs> you know, he like, will make buildings that go up to the heavens and whatnot. See, and I'm not sure about the ISS International Space Station, man. Too many times you can see bubbles and shit, man. So you, you know, you, you, he's got some extravagant shit going on, but you never know what he's lying about as well. Right, of course. You know, and just because ult ultimately, you know, the, I'm, I, we're not firm believers of that whole organization and the stuff they promote. But of course, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. Uh, he's gonna have to go somewhere in the heavens, in some type of um, uh, station in the heavens, when he uh, tries to escape nuclear missiles, man. Okay. And he's got enough rockets and all of that stuff. Like he, he knows his way around a bit. Give him that. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he?" All right. Because eventually, you know, he's actually going to go out, out the whole earth. First, his kingdom is going to be destroyed. Okay. That's really just the beginning of his downfall. Because once that happens, and he's taken into captivity. Whoever, you know, the the the, 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 the other one here who actually is there remaining they're going to be taken to captivity and then they're going to be going through hardcore slavery man up until a thousand years is complete and then they're going to be burned up so ultimately it's going to diminish all right now over here it reads um verse 8 you shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yeah you shall be chased away as a vision of the night and we're going to see we're going to see we're going to see the space crumble it's all going to be destroyed otherwise it's out 
you know, we, we, we should be down to the very end. And we'll, you know, it's going to be like, oh man, it's, it's like a, it's like a woke up from a horrendous nightmare, man. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow it down, and they shall be as though they had not been. What? Meaning what all your cultural remnant bullshit, your Hellenization bullshit, your Romanization bullshit, yeah, all of that bullshit, gone, done out, never, like it never existed, man. Verse 9, that I also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his face any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. But his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. And you know, that's, that's an interesting thing, you know, him um, seeking to please the poor, because you see the, the Benjamite saying, we want an apology for slavery. You see that? No, no, I'm about to. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it came over on the, on the news, didn't it? I did the news, but I never got to see the clip. The, the Duchess and whatever of Prince what, Kate, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, that's it. With William, is it? Yeah, with William. Yeah, they, they were going over to Jamaica, and the Jamaican said, Hold up, can you, you love us in slavery? And we want you to say sorry to us. And then, and then what? Then you oh yeah, don't worry about it, man. You know, it's, it's slavery, is slavery, man. It happens. A long time you know, ago, you know. people put yokes on necks. You know, feed us alligators. You know, rape us. You know, book break us. You know, it, it happens. You know, I forgive you. Go, you know, we're all one. That's the that's the sort of mentality you fucking ninjas have, man. A sorry is good enough. And now you, that's your brethren, bro. That's your best best friend, your good friend. Oh man, you know, I wish this never happened. You know, we could have just been friends, cool this whole time, man. Fucking through, man. Allegedly. Absolutely through. The serpent will always have enmity with the seed of the woman, man. Job 20 and 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, and like, though, you know, he might, he might, um, you know, hold back, you know, hold back all the shit he wants to say, all the wickedness and, and plus that he wants to actually, um, eventually bring out to this earth. You know, he's still there, man. It's still, it's still in him, man. That's why we can't trust the enemy. Like the scripture says in uh, Sarai 12 and 10, never trust thine enemies. For right, like iron, iron rusted, so, so is his wickedness. wickedness. Okay? You're gonna Do see he humble himself? He goes crouching. You know, if you fall, he's going to overthrow you, take your crown, set up on your throne and you know, run things. There you go. Yeah? Psalm 55 verse 20 and 21. He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So he will say sorry. Yeah, of course he'll say sorry. But then he'll be thinking, well, how can I economically castrate them? How can I put them back into slavery? Yeah, well, you're, you're already in slavery, truly. You know, how can I put them deeper in slavery? And then Jake will just, he'll come up with a scheme yeah, that makes it look like he's doing good. He might give you free, free um, charagmas, man. You know, Jake would go wild at that shit. Look, they love us, man. How the fuck? You, you, come on. You know, you give Jake a free you know, pot noodle, man. He'll, yeah. he'll fucking be your best friend, bro. Yeah, but that's the thing, they, they set it up so where we've had so much little as a people, if they give us scraps, we're happy, man. Happy. Verse 13, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is a gall of ass within him. He has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. And what has he done to this whole world, man? He's stolen all the shit he's got, man. He's stolen all the riches of the earth, so eventually he shall vomit it up again. All right, which is a... Um, a, a, like a very unpleasant feeling of, you know that, that happens to you eventually you know there's going to be a time of serious wrath man okay wrath is coming unto him and, and, and as I read in the scriptures in Revelation 18 and 21 thus the great violence shall Babylon the great be thrown down rough paraphrase okay so much violence is a place to be destroyed man that's right again a great millstone again just like how it has in Daniel 2 it goes into a stone to, to, to smoke the image man so you because you might have in the ancient world or well, not even that too long ago you might have a, a, a corn mill and you so you get someone that you're know, getting all the wheat or the corn or whatever and then you've got someone that's literally just turning it there and this this stone it might be against another stone or against something hard surface and that is grinding it it's grinding it's a great millstone you know it's constantly grinding down yeah you know, this this wicked thing man and that's what's spiritual about the name of the group man because you know, videos are constantly going out, constantly going out, exposing this devil. They're you know, teaching the people. <laughs> well, really, it's for the elect. 
You know, people have been taught. Many are called, few are chosen, so we'll see. Hmm. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 6. Who can stand before his, his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. And so it's already written that it's going to happen, and no one can do that. That's a, that's a question, a so-called rhetorical question, right? Because everybody's going to have to taste the wrath of, if it's appointed for them. We're all going to die. <laughs> if, it's, if, if it's appointed unto them, as, as, it says, as I said at the very end, okay? So the, the wrath of the Lord, the indignation goes into that righteous anger he has. If he's got anger with you and he wants to judge you, he's going to do it, man. You can't, you can't throw him some, some gold. See, people, people, people will take that and they will, they will literally think that, well, you know, we're all going to get judged. We're all going to die, bro. So, you know, it's, we're all going to die. So why, why not just live? Well, choose if you're going to live or die, man. As it says, Deuteronomy 13 and 19. Yeah, people take that um, because, because there's a lot of judgment coming. But well, we're all, they believe everyone will die. They don't believe anyone will make it and get, and these, these are so-called religious people. You know, you top Christians, you top fucking Islamic Hispanics. You know, they've been teaching this shit, man. We're all gonna die, we're all gonna get judged. You know, the point, come on, man. It really shows their carnality, and not their, you know, spiritual. You know. And that's because Christianity doesn't teach anything, anything. It doesn't teach anything, anything, man. anything, man. They have no, I, they've got no fucking understanding of, I can't fucking think of one thing they say that's the truth, man. You take a Christian that's even if they suck it, even, even if they say Jesus Christ, Lord, save. That's not that's not his name, man. So this, you can't even fucking pick something out, you know. And to realistically, he's no fucking hell, man. You can't pick something out. I don't know about you, brothers, but I can't pick fucking anything out. <laughs> and they nope. actually teach that's the truth right now, man. Top of my head, because um, it's so much fucking Seventh Day event is teach to keep the dietary laws. Oh, well, there oh, you are. Guess what? And to keep the Sabbath on the wrong day, <laughs> you know. And what else? The white Jesus is coming to save you and that we're all gonna die. <laughs> you know, all that shit, man. So what are you really teaching, man? Because there, there's no lie of the truth. So if you've you got a little bit of truth, yeah, okay, it's a, it's, that's cool. What, hey, but what I'm, about the rest of know, it now? Even regarding seven events, I would have to check yeah. them out. They might say you can eat fucking ducks, I don't know. That, that'd be one little lie, which is not the truth. You just never know. I'm not saying they do, I'm saying I have to check. Because ultimately, that's, that's like, literally took us one thing. We found fucking one thing, man. And that's only one specific group because there's so much confusion in that, the whole umbrella of Christianity, man. Now, this is Job 20. I'm going to go again to verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. He shall vomit them up again. The most high shall cast them out of his belly. And guess, right. guess what? All the, all the gold you've got heaped up, all the silver in these, this reserve, that reserve, you're all saving it for Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. He's coming to take it. Yep. You don't, don't, you don't know that. you are, but the Lord yeah. has ordained and that's what's going to happen. You're going to have it only for that, that day. It reminds me of the, same, the, the way that people are stored up, your know, preppers, stored up this, stored up that. But it says in the scripture, you know, someone's coming to bust through your storeroom, take that shit and be out. And where are you now? Where's your, where's your food now? You know, if, imagine if you put half that, as much of that energy into praising the Heavenly Father, yeah, it might be a bit different. Now, read. He has swallowed down riches, he, he shall vomit them up again. The most I shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he laboured for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. You know, the time where he's trying to, you know, he's trying to um, create this this NWO. All right, take all these riches. Okay. Um, see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go China. <laughs> Go. All right, you know he's, he's he's trying to fulfill things for his paradise. You know, like Adam Wong Gaba was saying. His paradise is for him to get everybody with the MOTB, him ruling over everyone, to continue his greed of stealing and taking everyone's shit. But as, as it reads again, this he shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. Uh, let me read this first one, sorry. Hold this up. That which he labored for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice to it. Right? He's not going to have rejoicing in that day. He's, he's going to get close to doing his, his whole idea and then once it gets to the point where he starts making people his, his perpetual servant by giving them that, that all that digital all that's when shit you know shit that's that like you know like the apostles say man when that starts getting rolled up we know that we're very close to the very the very fucking end man I was just gonna say there's been a long long time phrase long time in, in the so called you know black conscious community that the white man's heaven is the black man's hell so guess what you know, in the Israelites' heaven, you no, know, he's gonna feel hell, bro. The Lord's gonna, 
the Lord wants that to happen, man. It's gonna be it's the Lord's will for him to go through that the hell that he's gonna get in the kingdom. Double. Man. Double, man. You know, if you don't want that, you're not in the right spirit neither. Yeah, and E as well, if you don't want that, you know you, you got this you got this side, so you better say, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> you know? It said this honor have all his saints. And what did it say before that going to the, the them having chains upon them, man? So how could you not want it was the captivity? patience and the faith of the saints oh there you are he that leadeth into captivity shall, shall go into captivity. captivity he that killed he us with the sword, sword shall surely be killed with the sword man there you go hunted by the angels you know pulling them out of clefts of the rocks and shit <laughs> yeah it's mad this is job 20 and 19 because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor because he hath violently taken away a house which he buildeth not right he didn't he, 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 he took lands that he didn't build he didn't establish the lands but he's took and he stole them and he even pretends that, that it's fucking his man he, he took them stole them enslaved the children of the most high to work upon it then made out like this is my empire brother which really is you know it is but you you know the the way you've exploited the heavenly father's children not a good not a good move e you know the apple of the lord's eye and you're gonna go and put punish what's that um show you got altogether unpunished you know that that those that weren't meant to drink of the cup you're know, talking of us we weren't meant to drink of yeah, the judgment for E, but we drank of it. And these are the people that, that you know, our people want to justify every fucking day, man. Now, what does the scripture say, man? This is Proverbs chapter 17. And uh, verse 15, it says, He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Now, read Job 20 and verse 20. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his good. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in strait. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. In other words, in a time where um, he's, he's about to uh, bring in the fullness of his NWO, right? MOTB. Yep. That's that's when shit is going to hit the fan, man. Alright, that's, that's when things are going to start heating up real, real quickly to the point of the end, okay? And of course, things, you know, things are getting already quite quickly, man. Things are heating up pretty quick. You know, people in the world, they're just ignoring it, man. They're ignoring it. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. But thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. There you go. Thou shalt not go unpunished, man. We didn't go unpunished, so how can the wicked not go unpunished? Verse 10. Verse 10. But I have made Esau bare, I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. So you can't expose, man. You're the man of sin. And it, the, the prophecy said you would be exposed. Yeah, who opposeth and exalts himself above all that is called God. Who is that? Who does that? Who does that? Yeah, but who does that? He does that. He over there, him. Job 20. Which Job wasn't a fucking Edomite either, man. Yeah. Yeah, verse uh, 22 again. This fullness of the sufficient, you shall be in straits, going into a time of trouble, going to a straits, going into being in a confined oppression, actually. Kind of goes into it. But she, she's gonna, he's going to already start feeling <laughs> a time of. Um, of confinement of to be able to break let loose man all right because now he's, he's really let loose but there's a time when you're going to slowly see him not have that um not be let loose as, as it reads man okay now uh, this, one, this one is going to this is uh when he is about to fill his belly right again he's right now he's eating he's eating he's eating all right he's eating of that wickedness man by the time his belly's about to be full again when he's about to uh, fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain upon him while he's eating. There you go. While he's trying to get the sword out, while he's trying to establish this, this NWO, the Most High's going to, through the Spirit, he's going to rain all types of havoc and fire, man. He's going to put on the spirit of the the meat, man. But which right now, you know, the spirit should go into the Russians, man. They're going to, they still they have their spirit on them right now. In that time, they're going to see it. The more the Lord's going to set it up, right? Or they're going to feel more and more angry at the more shit that they're going to do they just want to fucking go crazy on them man because they, cause they are against the wicked even though they are wicked again the wicked soul should cast out when they have to man what we paraphrasing and it even said in um, I believe it said it in verse 22 yeah uh, every hand of the wicked should come upon him 
The word for straits there is yataza, yataza, which I believe is the root of uh, matazarium, uh, double straits. So yataza, to be to bind, be distressed, be indistressed, be cramped, be narrow, be scant, be in straits, make narrow, cause distress, besiege, to suffer distress. In the King James Version, it's got distressed four times, be straightened twice, be in straits once, vexed once, be narrow once. They aim in trouble, man. Big now, trouble. verse 24, it says, You shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike into you. In other words, you know, the, the missiles, man. You should, you should flee from one thing or the other. It's like it says in like, like Amos 5, fleeing from a lion and then get bit by a bear elsewhere. Or probably other way around, I'm not too sure. In fact, can you get that, Bavakusha? Amos 7 5, you're next to you, actually. On the left side. Oh, it's not winning the Ezra's on here. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 22. It says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So you're going to have some that are very hungry. Yeah, they're going through a, a severe famine. And then just after all, they finally eat. Bang, where's your head? Where's your head at? Look at Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord Yahweh. Okay, so... <laughs> To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So they're gonna, again, they're gonna, they're gonna try to flee from all the havoc. They're gonna go up uh, to the, to this whatever fucking thing they have in, in the, like a so-called space station, in so-called space up in the heavens. They're gonna try to go and flee for everything, but they, it's, they're gonna get taken somewhere or another, man. Okay, some people are going to try to escape uh, some type of weapon warfare and get struck by the missiles on this earthly plane. Some jakes are going to come out with macarons. <laughs> Fuck it, you lot are through, man. Trust it. It don't make sense, man. You can't. How are you going to fight E with E's blessing, man? That's trying to like trying to ask Jake to brace on an Edomite walking up to Jake. Hey, I, I know we've got this like racial tension, but why don't we end it in a basketball game? You're not going to win, man. Yeah, you really, you, you have to play to your strengths. Our strength is the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah, man. His strength is that it's carnal that bullshit, man. You understand? And so, in that time, you know, like again, it says, uh, oh, do you want to finish it, actually? Do you want to finish it? Did you finish the verse? Yeah. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? You are. No? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, Me. Yeah. That goes. Um, you know, so the Lord's not gonna, you know. Um, no, I'll read it again. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. And who was that talking about, man? That's Jake, Jake. man. That's Jake. And you know, <laughs> there's, cause, cause, and why is that, man? Alright, it's because, again, the people in context are those that do wickedness, man. Alright? So, likewise, in all manner, in all, all ways you look upon it, the people of our, of, the, uh, of our nation that are of the world, their prayers, man, what does it mean? Who are they even praying to? What are they praying for? What are their works? What, what are they doing in these last days? Okay? So, what are you doing about it? What are you doing to make a difference? Yeah, and it says, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies as pertaining to sacrifice, man. Which proves that spirits can smell. You know, you have people that go into the apocrypha in Toba and say, oh, it's witchcraft, ark, you know, because they sacrifice a fish. Yeah, but, and, and it said, um, the, uh, a certain spirit smelt it. Well, that, well, what about this? Is this witchcraft? You know, and, and fucking one body, man. Like every, everything that happens is that you can't explain with the carnal fucking Negro mindset is witchcraft, apparently. Yeah, miracles of the scriptures that the Heavenly Father did is, a, is a, now witchcraft. The law can do anything, man. The stuff like parting the sea is so, like, that's pretty minuscule, man. Pretty, just think about it. To us, of course, it was just us and our flesh trying to part the sea. We're going to be fucking there forever and die. But if we're talking about the spirit who made everything, how that's light work, man. But of course, so the, know, the Lord can make the sea, but he can't put the spirit on a man to just move it out of the way of it. Yeah, which is a mighty work. I'm not trying to downplay it. I'm trying to put it in, in the context of this. 
everything you see around you was either made directly by the Heavenly Father or the resources that someone else used to make something was made by the Heavenly Father. But now, it, now it's, it's, too, it's too much for the Lord for a little bit of water to move, man. Again, I'm not downplaying it, but I'm saying, come on, man, in the grand scheme, a, 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 an ocean or, or a sea, you know, being parted, that's a very light thing for the Lord, man. Job 20 and verse um, uh, verse 24, you shall flee from the iron weapon, the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of the gulf. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. And that's going to those that are left in Babylon the Great, man, in his tabernacle, man. They're going to taste that fire too. Whoever's been, whoever's left there in the, in the time when, when the missiles are launched, they're going to they're going to get destroyed in that fire and guess what man that's that's the judgment of the lord that we have to accept man okay whether you like it or not man that's something that's going to come to some of even our family members who ain't, who ain't hearing this truth now just like the brother said about you know the other context you know it's not pleasant but it's part of the lord's will man some people will sell for righteousness some people will sell for uh wickedness destruction all right now again it says the heaven shall reveal his iniquity man we can see it man Eventually, you know, we can, right now, the earth right now can see more and more, all right? His iniquity is just, it's filled up now and it's being revealed slowly and surely, man. It's like this is Daniel 12 and 4. You know, right now, the world might not see it fully, of course not. But, man, if you can't tell, man, that this fucking, that this man is the fucking devil, bro. You're fucking, man. Uh, four. Four. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But though, our Daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the dead many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased and much more knowledge shall be increased all right okay. about us okay. and okay. Okay. but thou O Daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge knowledge shall be increased and they, again your knowledge shall be increased in the day of righteousness I don't just damn devil, man. Okay. Let's go verse 10 while we're here. Yep. Verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white. Oh, hold on now. I've been purified. No, he's not talking about leprosy, bro. He's talking about you being made clean, you being made white. This is actually the opposite. When Miriam yeah, started going on at Moses for yeah, getting with the Ethiopian woman, what happened to her? She got turned into an Edomite, man. No, which she didn't. Yeah, but she got turned leprous. Yeah, yeah. yeah her she, skin yeah. was turned white as snow. Right, right. Okay. Which is a mark that's put upon the progenitor of the nation of Eve. A one of them. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall know shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So there's not gonna be this is this is another one, there's not gonna be an E that gets it. Oh look, you Jim, there's have white people in their camps. If he if he clean believes go on, go, 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 go. <laughs> you know, yeah, clean people. Yeah. You're talking about G oh. Man's got E in their camp? No, fuck then fuck no man. Fuck that. No way. If you if, if they're believing in this truth, they have the the understanding, alright, the hundred percent of it, that's because that is a Jake man, that is an Israelite. That's a white chocolate covered Israelite. There you go. Okay. And if you can't get that, what is, that tells you that you know what the fuck's going on, man. That's that's very basic stuff, man. The Yahweh just said, "Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment." Now, if he's operating in righteousness, does not mean he's of the righteous. Isn't that fucking obvious, dummy? How easy is that to correlate together, man? And that shows you that a lot of these people who fucking boast themselves, puff their chest up, being on their chest, acting like fucking, fucking, fucking ass ninjas, man. <laughs> you motherfuckers. You don't even understand basic stuff, man. You're a novice at, at best. That's really generous. You're a fucking novice in this, in this word, man. You're a noob. You, like some, man, you're fucking all over the place, bro. You started off going out teaching at the doctrine that, you know, came up under, you know, some level of, I guess, one West doctrine, you know. And you go all over the place, start drifting off. And at one point you're saying, there's this guy in Israelite showing a picture of, 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 <laughs> of, 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 a, of, a, of a brother who, who happens to look like a so-called white man. Who gives a fuck, man? How am I supposed to, how are you supposed to know by looking anyway? Now, hold on, brother. Let me just check my records in the back. Get through. All right. 2,000 pages yeah, later. Yeah, let's go. Are you an Israelite? Fucking hell, man. Now, it says, verse 27, The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. So the earth shall rise up against the devil. And eventually, man, 
The whole world's gonna fucking look down on he's the new he's he's man, they're gonna be the new niggas, man. And the kids, they're gonna look down on them, man. That's like, the video this, title. This is the guy who's gonna this is the guy who had everyone in fear. The this guy is the guy that to, made the earth to tremble. Not you, sorry, sir. <laughs> this, this guy is the made the earth to tremble, brother. Come on man. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, confound it, bro. What the fuck? This is him? This little fucking, this little bitch. This little fucking, a little twerp, man. You know, what did, did you see that um, video I did about keeping your tongue? That that E guy, man. I pulled, I pulled into, I was on the job, man. I pulled into a parking spot. You know, I'm doing deliveries, food deliveries. Pulled into a parking spot. He goes, Pete, oh, what, what are you doing? You know, proper fucking nerd, man. I'm like, chill out, bro. I, I just pulled into, all right, cool. I'm like, cool. I'm trying to keep calm because I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, man? Little nerdy McLovin off Superman looking ass. <laughs> I'm pull, so I pull out the car spot. And then anyway, he pulls in. I find another one. I'm just like, what the? Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. When I was pulling out, he went like this to me. He went. Like, I'm hell. I didn't have that. I should have just stayed in the spot, man. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to cuss him, cuss him out. Start calling him a little nerd and everything. But anyway, I went. Um, oh yeah, sorry about that, mate. Or whatever I've said to him, and he went, oh 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 oh, oh don't, don't worry, honestly, it's fine. But it shows you that the when pe when people think they're they're um they can't get touched. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying I would. Yeah, but I'm just saying when the mindset of people are, oh, I'm in a car, you know, oh, I'm right, safe. Right, right. This get, nothing's gonna happen. I could have been a grimy ass ninja, man. Yeah, man. I could have been. Who the fuck you're talking about? Well, yeah, pull him out. The, I'm, I'm not saying that I condone this. I'm right, just right. saying these are the mindsets of certain grimy people. You know, within within. You know our, our our memory. You know we know we know people uh, from from hood or whatever that where we used to preach and shit. They wouldn't get down on that shit, man. So you just gotta be careful, man. And that goes for us as well. Yeah, you know, don't don't you flip out in the moment and then you end up on the end of that. Yeah, you know, but the whole point is when people think that they're they're cool and especially you know the, the idea of being in a crowd or you're in your own area, you're calm, you're cool. Don't ever forget that the Lord's in control, man. Ever. Yep. Uh, I can't remember where it is, man. Give it. Oh, I think it's the third chapter, but it's fine. Yeah. Uh, James 3 and 5. Right. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things. Behold, how great a matter of a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defieth the whole body. It doesn't mean it inherently does, but it can do. And it really does inherently do in this flesh, for sure, because this flesh is inherently wicked. So I'll take that back. But it doesn't mean. Overall, you know, we're just, well, it doesn't mean, I'll tell you, no, fuck it, man. This flesh is inherently wicked, so yeah, man, that is actually how you look at it. And it was, I wasn't even thinking of it that way until now, okay? Because, no, of course, no, the, the, the righteous, the, the, my, 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 though the, the spirit of righteousness be in us, you know, we have faith that when we do, when we do utter, it's going to be a righteous, going to be for, for ministering uh, grace unto the, uh, the hearers, okay, for them to have hope. And that's, of course, to be elect. But inherently, man, our, our flesh is wicked, so our tongue is part of our flesh, you know? It's going to be, our, it's going to be a world of iniquity, man. You, got, you want to say it? No, no. So is the tongue among our members that defied the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of hell. All right. So again, verse 8, I'll go straight there. But the tongue can no man tame and is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Okay. Uh, can you get verse 7? You know what? I'll go. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpent. So here we are. You got you got the little fucking Arabic uh, uh, snake charmers. You got you got those Elamite, not you again, <laughs> Elamite over there. You know people that are riding fucking elephants and you know taming giraffes and shit, and got bears that will rip off your blood clot, but they've got them like dancing in a circus and shit. But guess what? All that being said, no one can tame the tongue. You know, let's go. So read. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. And you are. No, I think I can get straight to the point. Uh, nah, and that, that shows us the point, you know, the Elder Apostle Gabar says often that the biggest enemy we've got in this truth is ourselves, man. You know, it's your flesh. You know, no one else's flesh is going to make you sin. You know, you can put a gun to your head or whatever, but ultimately you would have to either say, no, fuck that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with the Heavenly Father. Yeah, I don't fear what you can do to me. Or, you know, but no, your flesh is going to make you slip up. Right. No, another guy's flesh is not going to make you slip up, man. You have to make a conscious decision. This is Psalm 39 and 1. I said I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with the bridle while the wicked is before me. And right now, that wicked uh, McLovin dude, <laughs> you know, he, he's, he's talking all manner of shit. You know, like, to, you know, well, 
whatever he was doing, they reckon he was like, you know, he looked, he looked showing shocked. you up. He, he looked, he looked shocked because he was like, well, what, what the, why, why is someone that I've just tried to antagonize like trying to make peace with me? Especially a like sort of funny looking with the dark beard and everything. Right. You know, but in, in his heart, he, he wasn't, he wasn't trying to to create war, but just in, in the in the environment where you know you've got war going on you've got a pestilence going on people can't see their family you know spirits are all riled up man this is only going to get worse so when, when so if someone cuts you off you know don't don't, don't rise to it man and bridle bridling your tongue or goes into like a, a horse, horse. Yeah, you've yeah, got you got right. someone to, to, to move where it, so you can control where it's going right and control guess, someone's head like you know, in grappling yeah, yeah, yeah you control yeah. where he's going he's going to start moving that way man so his neck doesn't fucking hurt and horses often have them blinders on as well man that's how we should have for this truth yeah, them, them blinders on that no, nothing over here is going to take you off nothing over here there is going to take you off now I'm not saying walk around with a fucking box on your head you know spiritually or, or metaphorically you should always right. remember what am I focused on what am I here for right. what am I doing why am I doing it is, it, is this, is this a, a godly thing would I do this around the brothers would I do this if Hamashiach Yahweh was in front of me you know, so, so stuff like that now you know we all slip up but these are things to keep within, within your meditation to, to maintain you on that right track so Job 20 and verse 28. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. There you go. In the day of wrath, all that stuff's going to be taken away, and you're going to find all that shit was vanity, man. It didn't profit you at all, man. It no, didn't profit you, but it really profited you, but it really didn't. Riches okay. do not profit in the day of wrath. Verse 29. This is the portion of a wicked man from the Most High, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. His heritage, his inheritance, is destruction and wrath. That's what he's going to inherit. Okay. And double. Yes, sir. Any precepts? Yep. This is Proverbs 16 and 1. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord Yahweh. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirit. So you are. So you are. You've got Judges 21 and 25. It said, In those days there was no king in Yasharala, every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And then, um, what it was, the scripture just meant to skip my mind. That. You just read. Oh, Job 20 is the last one. What did you say? I didn't. This is Job chapter 20 again. And uh, verse 29. This is the portion of a wicked man for the Most High. And the heritage appointed, appointed unto him by the Most High. Right, getting on E. This is the book of Job 27 and. Uh, no, it's not. This is um, Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yeah, so that, who, who, who was active in 70 AD? It was E. Now who was doing it on, um, in the time of Antiochus Epiphanes? It was E. You think all this shit has happened. The, the, the main times our temple has been defiled and our land taken away and such. You know, well, our temple being defiled. It was under Babylon. And what does it say in um, Psalm 140? Um, Nine, no, no, uh, 148. Wait, which one is it? Uh, or or um, one, 137, Salakia. You're dashing the babies and shit. Right, right, yeah, right. Why is that? Because they helped the Babylonians. You know, they just stood there like nothing. They didn't know. Then they did it themselves as Greeks, did it themselves as Romans. But no, these are these are the Japhets. These are, and these are the ones that can get an inheritance and, and co rule and reign with Yahweh Shai. Yeah, if they have the faith of fuck. Come on, man. Confusion, man. <laughs> Bare confusion, man. Wow. So, Rag 43 and 30. When you glorify the Lord, exalt Him as much as you can, for even yet will you far exceed. And when you exalt Him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Right, so we pray it's been edifying. You know, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, laboring the word and doctrine. All praises to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe